Hey guys, hope you all are having a wonderful holiday season. Sorry for the tiny hiatus, but you know how the holidays get, they are crazy. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a review of the Carnival Hub app. This app is amazing. I really love a lot of the features that it has. So the first thing that you're going to see when you get into the Carnival Hub app are the details of the day. It says, on my phone, enjoy your fun day at sea, and tomorrow that'll be in Grand Turk. So when I click on Fun Day at Sea, it actually shows me what's happening today. It also shows me the rest of the week. Um, gives me a quick rundown of the port information as well as the emergency information, which is super important, um, and the weather on that day and the location I'll be. Clicking on the weather widget will expand the weather details for every day of the cruise. Clicking on coming up shows you the events that are happening that day, as well as scrolling through shows you some popular events. You can view the ship maps if you would like to see where certain hotspots are. You can search by the menu or you can actually search through the deck maps. And you can view a list of the actual venues and then go to the map to view where they are. Really helpful. Next, you can view the cruise packages for Wi-Fi if you'd like. There are different packages for Wi-Fi for the day or for the whole cruise at different price ranges. There's also a chat feature that you can purchase for just $5 for the entirety of your cruise per person. And this allows you to communicate back and forth through the Carnival Hub app with other friends or family that you have on the boat. If you view the food section, it'll show you what restaurants are open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It gives you the times that those venues open and close, and it also gives you a location for that venue on the ship. Now to the fun part. Um, you can actually view your pictures on the Carnival Hub app. Now they have a couple ways to do this. Um, one is some places will ask for your uh, folio number and that's the way that they'll link your picture to your app. And you can also take your picture on the app and then it'll take, um, it'll do facial recognition basically for the pictures that are taken. There's also a section for shore excursions. We ended up actually purchasing a shore excursion through this portion of the app. And the funny thing is, the shore excursion that we wanted to take, the one with the RTVs, was, act was actually sold out online. And when we came to the app, we saw that there was a different time that wasn't sold out. So we were actually able to purchase that excursion, even though we thought we wouldn't be able to through the Carnival website. So in the open times section, I'm able to view all of the times for pretty much every activity on the ship, the pools, the hot tubs, everything. So next is the good to know section. Um, good to know just has some of those frequently asked questions, need to know information that will help you for the particular ship that you're on. Um, and in general, so dress code details are in here, um, medical information's in here. Uh, there's also some kind of emergency information that's really helpful. So there is some good information in here to have readily accessible on your phone. So lastly, and the most important thing about the app is that it pretty much gets rid of the need for fun times. I found that I very rarely carried my fun times around or mark the events that I was going to in my fun times. And yeah, it does take away some of the excitement. I know one of the things that I love the most is getting my fun times at night and circling all the things I'm gonna do next day and it's always a surprise and that's really cool. But also the negative about having a paper fun times and waiting on it is that it is a surprise, right? So if you see an event that you really wanna go to and you have maybe a couple events you wanna do at the same time, you never know if that event's gonna happen later. Here, I can see all of the events for the entirety of my cruise. I can mark my favorites by clicking on the little heart icon to the left. 
and I can actually see all of my favorites for the day um, instead of having to look through everything. Uh, once I have the things that I want to do, I can just look at those. Plus, once you have your favorites set, when you're ready to go to your event, you can click on it to get details about the event, to get the location and the start and end times. So that's really helpful too. Also, if you click on the location, it'll show you on the deck map where that event is. All right, guys, so that's it for today. There's actually going to be one more break before our videos start up regularly each week again. Um, so we will not have a video next Friday, but after that, we should be regular again um, with posting every Friday. So I will see you guys in two weeks. Have a great day and we will see you then. Bye-bye.